everybody, this is MP here, and today... Oh, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. Today I'm talking about the Cupcake Gravemind Weirdo again, EDP. Also known as Erectional Dysfunctional Pre- <laughs> So he's at it again, man. He's at it again with some more shenanigans. <laughs> he is on a dating website now. Trying to start all over and act as if he didn't do the very sinful, disgusting ass things that he did. So this is his dating profile. And right off the bat, he couldn't even come up with anything creative with his profile picture. It has to be the same one he uses on Instagram, thinking that he's all that with those damn shades on. Thinking that he's some kind of hidden celebrity or something, even though he's not, he's a pet. <laughs> That's how you get the ladies these days, I suppose. I don't even know. But anyways, we're gonna look at his uh, description, I guess, or at least partially. So apparently EDP is looking for a long-term relationship. Oh, Jesus. But I'll get to that after I read his description down low. Ladies, please don't waste my time. If you're afraid of talking on the phone or video chatting, please keep it pushing. Don't waste my time playing stupid ass games. Well, there you have it from the cupcake man himself, EDP. <laughs> He's a serious man now and he ain't about those games. He's finally had enough of being toyed with. And he's all about that business. He films it for the whole world to see. He takes a picture of it and sends it to who he thought was a cupcake. That's how serious this man is. <laughs> I'm a very goofy person. I love to crack jokes. Make people laugh. Huh? Yeah, no. Nah, ADP, you're just a straight up creepy little weirdo. The only thing that I find you goofy is that you keep putting yourself out there to be a creepy weirdo, which proves the point. Like an example, you admitting that you have an AIGF and literally making a video of how much that AIGF busted your load hard. You made a video admitting that. It's disgusting. Who does that unironically? Seriously, who the hell does that? If you're super uptight and can't take a joke, we might not work out. Translation of what EDP actually wants to say. If you're super uptight and can't take a joke, fuck you, kill yourself. I'm not crying, I'm not crying. You stupid bitch. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be making videos about you and I will blast your face out there like my last ex. And I'm gonna let it be known that you're horrible. All because you don't find any of my jokes funny. Not even at least one joke funny. You have to find all my jokes funny. Or else, I will make you pay. Yeah, yeah, keep yelling at the clouds, EDP. Anyways, let's just finish this. When it comes to me, chivalry isn't dead. If you're the right one, I believe I'm treating you like a queen. Okay, I got a lot to say with that last paragraph right there on his profile. EDP isn't about that chivalry, and I know that for certain. I have made a video where EDP ended up hating women. He admitted it, and he full-blown said it, and I will show you right now. Don't trust these hoes. Don't trust fucking women. Women are fucked up. They're always out here, man. They're always trying to talk shit. You know, oh my God, EDP, who hurt you? Oh my God, EDP, you must hate fucking women. I do hate them. They fucking annoy me. They get on my motherfucking nerves. Do I need to keep going with that? There's plenty of more where that came from, quite literally. He has a lot of videos of these incel rants, and I'm not even fucking around with that. EDP's really acting like the same thing can't happen if a guy does it. When it comes to being a psycho, ghosting, or being the abuser in this situation, it can go both ways these days. It really can. I'm trying to be as fair as I can with it. Like a crazy little goblin that would threaten you with a pair of scissors. Or some punk ass, some fuck up, that likes being a caveman. A dog. Liking to kick people when they're down. Or to pick on people with disabilities. Thinking that violence will solve everything even though that that's not the case. That will most certainly affect you in the long run depending on the situation. These type of people literally brag over losing their V-cards even though that that's not really all important. It's not really anything accomplishing despite them being broke and everything, but sure, let them have their victory lap, I suppose, of retardation. But anyways, that's not even the focus of today's video. We're talking about EDP going back to the whole dating site thing. If you are trying to date online while your life is so miserable and shitty and you want to bring somebody with it, like, you're just pretty selfish. That's basically EDP situation. Like, he is just straight up selfish for even trying to date while his life is already miserable and everything like that. Instead of trying to fix it, I'm talking about actually 
really fix his life and get some help and everything, but obviously he's not going to do any of that. Why? Because he probably thinks what he did isn't even that problematic enough to even get some help. Or is that egotistical and arrogant? Either way, EDP is going to play the split personality card and act as if he didn't do any of that and lie to whoever he decides to date, which is more than likely going to be nobody because who the hell is going to want this man? I'm not even just saying that. I'm genuinely asking, like, the dude doesn't even want to fix his weight. Like, he doesn't want to fix his appearance. He doesn't even want to do any of that. He's just comfortable that the way he is, I guess. Like, it's just sad, but that's going to be his own fault and his own alone. But let's play pretend a little bit. Let's just pretend that he somehow manages to find a match online and they finally made it official. Then what's gonna happen when they decide to walk into the next Walmart together and J-Money comes back saying that, oh, EDP at it again, being a nasty ass. <laughs> and you know what EDP is gonna do? Obviously, he's gonna walk away with his girl while J-Money is still punking him out, still talking all that hard shit at him, and rightfully so. Like, again, this guy is just a horrible ass dude. Not only for being a cupcake addict, he's just downright not a good person. And EDP's girlfriend's gonna question him hey what what does that guy mean by calling you a cupcake addict we're gonna use that term now and of course edp's response just don't listen to him baby he's just a hater he's just a straight up hating ass troll and then she questions but what is edp what does that mean he called you edp what is that supposed to mean and edp probably doesn't have anything to cover that story up and then she decides to look it up on her phone and find out what the hell that means and there you have it and it'll mainly be known that edp is a cupcake addict and then she questions him about it like y you better explain yourself bryant well um Again, these haters, they're just... You can't be using that excuse anymore, Bryant. You better tell me the truth. Uh, um, I was set up. Yeah, that's right, I was set up. Oh, really? If you were set up, then why did you admit doing all these nasty things that you tried to do with who you thought was a cupcake? Uh, it was just a prank, bro. Yeah, we're done. And then she just breaks up with him then and there. Like, seriously, how is this gonna work? Like, how is he gonna keep it a secret? Because that's the thing, he never mentions his social medias on his Tinder profile. Eventually, they're gonna find out. And especially with that whole documentary of EDP, I almost forgot to mention this. What then? How are you gonna explain that away? Because in that documentary, there were other people featured that definitely got absolutely nothing good to say about this guy. And one more thing before I decide to call it off for this video is that EDP chivalry thing that he claims to be, he's only acting like a nice guy just to try to get in some of that Gucci, which is never more than likely ever going to happen. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think down below, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time.